Yani, this thing, this document over here, the energy that is giving me, it's on another level. It's on another level. And when I received this document, I actually stayed like for two days without opening it. I was so much excited and I felt the motivation. Guys, I don't know if you can read this, but I know maybe it will be like upside down. <laughs> so this, um, this envelope has my hsk result if you do not you do not know what it, what are hsk results this is um chinese exam result and i was doing a chinese exam for level two in this case it is known as hsk2 so you know learning a language is not easy to be honest it is not easy sometimes you feel demotivated you do not have the energy you feel like as if it is too much but when i got this oh the motivation was like Guys, it is possible to achieve anything that you want to do. And uh, me, Vishinda, I share with you. Oh my goodness, I even forget to say hi. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Monica. Yeah, so welcome to this beautiful, beautiful family. Join the family. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Like the video. Please subscribe for more updated information. So, guys. This one is not a serious video. If you are looking for a serious video, maybe it is not a very serious one. So, this is how the certificate uh, looks like. And um, one thing I'm proud about this, uh, about myself, about this exam is because I think I did score very well. Not very well, but I really tried. Uh, for the HSK2 exam, for those who know, uh, there are usually two parts. We have the listening and the reading part. The listening part is out of 100 and the reading part is out of also 100. Um it's also out of a hundred uh, percent uh, for the reasoning part i was able to score 85 percent and uh, for the reading part i don't know if you guys can see uh, 85 percent and then for the this is what for the reading part i was able to score 92 percent so in total i scored 177 and usually down here you can see the passing score for this level it's 120 so you surpass now i surpassed the mark the max the mark the max with some several several points and um i'm so proud of myself and by the way guys the most the most exciting thing about this entire thing it is is i was able to pass this exam within a period of two months and actually i cannot call it two months because i went to class for one month and then i guess again there was a holiday which means that we were at home so i did myself study for this one month and then when we came back there wasn't much time because uh, the exam was in september september 16th i think so because i joined i joined school uh on i joined school on july and i actually remember when i joined this school i found that they were way much uh go ma far much gone in terms of the syllabus and the teacher was like oh no you cannot um join this class why don't you join the september intake and i was no 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 me i'm those kind of people who don't like who don't like waiting things that is how i like my things being done that is me that is me so i joined the class and i told the teacher don't worry about me i'm going to push myself to achieve and then the other thing i also think the teacher was kind of opposing me to to do this exam remember this is level two this is hsk2 i have never sat for a hsk1 exam i never did but i believe myself so guys maybe <laughs> maybe i should motivate someone out there who is reading the chinese language is not difficult but the first thing that comes it's interest interest comes first and then having the right attitude and also surrounding yourself with them um, with people with similar you know with good attitude so that they can motivate you one day you feel like you want to study there are some days that i wake up and i feel like oh my goodness i want to study this language it's so interesting but the next day i wake up and i'm like oh my goodness what are all these things what are these things are just confusing hmm? like for example when you're learning the language for example there's this thing jiao jiao which means to be called jiao can also mean uh can also mean to teach jiao can also mean 
that a fit all a foot a foot so sometimes you feel like it's too much overwhelming jiao 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 it's like too 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 much but don't get discouraged because of this so maybe i should give for someone who is learning this language i should maybe probably give a highlight of how i was able to achieve hsk2 exam within a period a period of two months without having to sit for hsk1 exam guys maybe you should get to know me a little bit better as much as i joined uh, the school on july beginning of july I, I went for classwork for one month and then on august there was a holiday for the whole month and then september 16 that we got Open around September, up or September Kianza, but by September 16 there was an exam. So you can imagine, even as much as we open school on September, this time was only just maybe to do some few several past papers and then be trained on how the exam is, and then that was it. So it was it was kind of very fast for me. But the question is, how was I able to achieve all this? Guys, you you got you have to get to know me. Uh, initially i used to live in china i worked in china as an ecl tutor so during this period i never got any interest to learn the chinese language this is the funny thing however i was interested in learning some few phrases here to help me you know survive in china you know survival chinese that is all i knew like if i go to a shop i can be able to ask how much is this jogger the wash out chain you know some simple simple phrases like saying thank you hi um just survival some basic chinese survival so and uh so that is the only information i i didn't know much about the chinese language um so when i came and i checked i came and decided maybe i should join a class for chinese language however when i went to the level one i did some past papers i went through the syllabus and i realized oh my goodness i think all these vocabularies i know them there's nothing for me to read i went also to level two and i also realized most of the vocabularies i know by the way you know the basic things i know i know them i guess the only thing that was missing in me it's because because i never went to a class the grammar part was missing because i never had someone to teach me the grammar the grammar part was was missing because you know i was taught by the environment in china so i had a lot of grammar mistakes you know what how you try to translate directly from english to to chinese so i guess that is the only um major issue i had so i guess that's why i was able to sit for this exam apart from that it doesn't mean that i knew all the vocabularies in hsk2 remember in level two you have uh, around 150 vocabularies to uh to memorize it doesn't mean that i knew all the vocabularies i remember there are so many vocabularies that i i i didn't know in uh in hsk2 so i also had to to learn other vocabularies and uh, yeah also get to familiarize myself with the, how the exam structure looks like so during this time um reversing for the exam I was I was also in for me I didn't say like I re, I was really into books like revising uh, guys I think this video is going to be long maybe I should give you I should do another video highlighting the tips that I guess they worked for me in HSK2 and currently because I, I'm in the next level and soon I will be doing the HSK3 maybe I should share out the apps that I used to learn the language and some of these uh, maybe YouTube channels and other places that are very useful for you to for the mastery of the Chinese language but guys in conclusion as I was studying the Chinese language I never focused only on my books on my you know my, my 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 textbook for me i used to do a lot of duolingo play the games on duolingo if i get bored i go to reason to music there's another channel that has some stories you know i just i just make sure that because now i'm not in china i make sure that i immerse myself in the language and also in the cultures by the way guys today on our mandarin corner now that we are talking about a chinese exam in this case it's a hsk exam do you know what hsk stands for hsk is han yu so the h is han yu then s is shui ping then k is Kaoshi Han Yu Shuping Kaoshi Han Yu Shuping Kaoshi So Han Yu this is the Chinese language this Chinese language Shuping it's like a level of achievement it's like the level or the achievement level Kaoshi it's the test a test or an exam so Han Yu Shuping Kaoshi you got it 
bye bye for now and zaijian let me know what kind of content would you want me to create for you guys bye bye